Any plans to privatize St. Louis Lambert Airport are dead tonight. The mayor's actions are catching many off guard. She also says Lambert is, quote, not good, and now focus has to shift towards fixing and growing the airport. News 4 investigator Chris Nagus is here tonight following the developments from City Hall. Chris. Well, Courtney, privatizing airports is popular in Europe, but not so much here in the United States. St. Louis Lambert could have been the first major airport to fully go private. Denver just recently spent $200 million killing its deal with a Spanish company after problems surfaced. Mayor Lida Cruz is making it clear she will not move forward with requests from private operators to take over the airport. The city is $600 million in debt with Lambert. Leasing it could have brought in billions to city coffers. But the idea has been met with trepidation from city residents and business leaders. In the end, it was too much of a risk. Not to mention the major carriers would have also need to sign off on this plan. This process has been in the works for a year and a half, and today it is over. But it doesn't mean the mayor is satisfied with every aspect of the airport's operation. Today, she commended the airport's director, but also called for improvements. Our airport needs to be better. It's well run. Rhonda does a great job of running our airport, but we need more flights to more places more often. We need more cargo, and we need to capitalize on the assets that we have at our airport. We've got a thousand acres of unused land there. We've got a runway, a big W1W runway, which is used less than 10% of the time. Uh, we've got $700 million worth of debt. And so what we are going to do is come together with our business community, our residents, our elected officials, and, and figure out how we can improve our airport. The process was also criticized by many in the city over a lack of transparency. Cruson inherited this process from former Mayor Francis Slay. After he left office, Slay then became tied to the Spanish firm that's been exploring whether to bid on a Lambert lease. In the end, the airport will remain under local control with an understanding our airport needs to improve for passengers. Stephen Courtney, 